going. You can feel the intensity of this one. Total playoff atmosphere. We're underway. And that's intercepted by Pareko. Moves it quickly over to Kaprizov. And he makes the save with ease. Here they come on the attack. Shot! And the goaltender comes up with a piece of it to keep it out of the net. Great poke check on the reach. Erickson X moving it ahead. Moves it to Kaprizov. That's some smart heads up defensive play by Shen. And that's knocked away by Spurgeon. Fires it on net. Gets it in front of a one-timer. Minnesota's got a hold of it against the wall. Passes the puck over to Erickson Eck. In close. Point blank stopped by Bennington. He does a great job of having sound positional play based on where the puck is on that low inner slot. And he makes himself big, takes away the holes, and makes the save. Lots of time left in this period. The game is still scoreless. Minnesota's taking possession in their own end. And now it's over to Hartman. And he slides it quickly to Middleton. Puts it on net, and there's the save on the play. And they'll get a breather as the goaltender covers it up. Won the face off deep inside the offensive zone. Dismissed that chance. Pass back to the point. Broken up with the stick at the defensive end. And that's deflected off someone in front. The Blues gain control of the puck against the wall. Tries to dangle and the puck skips away. He is so dangerous when the puck is on his stick in the offensive zone, but he tries one too many moves and he loses the puck along the wing. They've got numbers here. Here's the pass. St. Louis plays it along the wing. And that one's turned away. Oh, he caught him in the open ice. He knew exactly what he was doing with that hit this early in the game. He's trying to send a message and dictate the pace. And that's hooked away. Minnesota's got the puck in the defensive end. The Blues gain possession along the wall. Centering pass, and that's blocked in front. Sons on the attack in the offensive zone. And down he goes as the puck goes free. And now it's grabbed by Neighbors. Scores! Oh, that was a beauty! Goalie coaches work all the time with one screen or one player in front, James, and he's got to do a good job of finding this puck. I mean, it just beats him clean. The Blues land the game's first goal here in the first half of the opening frame. Well, yeah, and I really like their game, James. It's not just about getting on the board first, but I like the way they've established a forecheck and they've held possession. I think they've done a real good job. They've had a consistent effort. Now they've got to find a way to finish the back half of this period the same way. Throws it in. The Blues will play it from the defensive zone. From along the walls, they're gaining momentum. Quick feed to Walker. And it's broken up by a nice defensive use of the stick. Quick pass to Duhane. Now a quick pass to the room. Stones him on the play. St. Louis has the puck. Poked away by Blaine. They've got some momentum here. Oh, it makes a save. Just not enough to keep it out. He reads this play perfectly, James. He gets tight to the shooter. There's no room to put it by him. be a big part of his team's offense when he's playing the right way. Well past the midway mark of this period, the Blues lead it 1-0. Erickson X quick stick off the draw wins possession. From the open ice, they gain the line. Great read with the stick. Picked up along the wall by Bujnevich. Minnesota's got control of it now from their own end. 
Great use of the stick in the defensive end by Pareko. Quick feed to Bushnevich. Gaining momentum up along the side. Oh, and he whiffs on it. Takes the feed at the point. Out of midair, he swats it down to the ice. Here's a short pass to Thomas. He carries the puck up along the wing. Sets the pass in front. And he has to backtrack here with the play. Minnesota's got it from behind the net. Quick pass to Kaprizov. Moves it quickly over to Spurgeon. Too much traffic in the lane. Moves it up. Centering pass in front. Oh, he comes up with a stop. Sends it quickly to Johansson. And now he angles it across to Foligno. And that shot gets caught in traffic. Moves it to Bogosian. Good hit to pump him off the puck. Quick feed to Sundqvist. Here's a shot. Gets in front of it. And he shuts the door again. What a sequence. I mean, he has been outstanding making consecutive saves. I mean, his defense, they gotta start playing. And he rips the post. Minnesota's been getting closer to the net and getting better looks. That one goes off the pipe, but this game is close. They can get another one. They can get right back in it. One-on-one on one with the goaltender. Tremendous defensive play. Well, that's all about pace and foot speed. The ability to get back through the middle of the ice and then find an opportunity to get the stick. Getting into the later stages of this period, we got a one nothing game to this point. Plays won the draw there on the attack. Off target! Minnesota's moving it up the ice. Oh, it goes right up the post! Minnesota's got themselves behind the eight ball, and they find a way with this opportunity to get back in. This is frustrating, James, as it goes off of the pipe, but I like their aggressiveness and their punch around the net. If they continue these habits, they'll find a way to get back in. Slides in off the wing after the centerman tied him up. Can't hang on to the biscuit after that. Scoops up the puck here. Sends the pass over. Jabs the puck away. Tosses it on to Blay. Rocked him along the wall. The Blues played along the wing. Oh, the out of the play! Wow! Oh, that's a true competitor's save. Just when you think that he's completely out of it, James, he comes across with a desperation save to keep his team alive. Let's have a look at that last save again. It was absolutely incredible. You're under pressure, you're under attack, really under siege, and you'll find a way to get to the puck. This is the stuff that champions are made of. St. Louis players were telling us before the game they wanted to put a lot of pucks on net. They have delivered on that, and they lead it late in the first. The Blues will go to work here in the offensive zone. Steps in front of it for the block. He got all of that one. Takes it right in the chest. Space inside the D zone. Shoot. Well, the play might come to an end for a few minutes at the end of this period, but the coaching never stops. I'm sure there'll be a few messages and a few words, and we'll be back with period number two in no time. James Stavolsky with you, period number two. The middle frame ready to go. Second frame is underway as the puck is dropped. Well, Cheryl, we got 20 minutes under our belts in this one. How do you sum up the performance? St. Louis 
Memphis has a one goal lead after 20 minutes of play, James. I'm surprised it's not more. I mean, they've had possession time. They've been in the offensive zone, but they've been getting pucks to net. I mean, it's a shooting gallery out there. The Blues have dominated in the shot department here early in the second, and they lead this one. Play resumes as they win the draw here inside the offensive zone. And he loses both the puck and his balance after that hit. Sends it into the offensive zone. Along the boards, they battle for the puck. Quick pass over to Zuccarello. Receives the pass. St. Louis gains a hold of possession. They go on the attack from the left side. And that's off a stick. Feeds it on over to Kaprizov. Minnesota's three center and now in the offensive end. Rocks him on the play. And he takes the dish. And the traffic neutralizes that threat. Slick feed. He says, let's get physical on that play. Shot! And that goes on a stick somewhere in traffic. Turns it over. Minnesota's been working hard all night, James. They've been intercepting pucks at a great stick position, and it's been a defensive clinic. They've got to find ways to get to the other side of the puck and generate some offense. Quick pass to Hayes. Off the post! Gustafson's going to hang on to the puck for a whistle. Lots of time left in this period. 1-0 is where we sit at this point. The Blues take possession here inside the offensive zone. And he makes the save. Covers it up, we'll get a stoppage in play. Both centers ready to take the draw here coming up. Minnesota's gonna start with the puck in their own end. They try to maintain possession inside the defensive zone. The Blues gain possession in their own end. St. Louis moves ahead with the puck. Looking to set up offensively. Taken by Rossi. Angles it over to Hartman. Great use of the stick at center by Hayes. And it's a quick pass to Fulk. Takes the shot. Good save. Still lots of time left in the period. We've got a 1-0 hockey game thus far. Minnesota's got a hold of the puck. Tries to get it to Polino. Here's a short pass to Johansson. Fires it! What a stop! Take it along the wall by Johansson. That's just textbook positioning to break up the play. Moves it quickly over to Neighbors. Picked off. Oh, set, trying to gain a step. He's clear. Oh, 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 fantastic ball. He's in on a breakaway, and some guys know exactly what they want to do, and some guys take what's given, but what a shot that is. He had no chance. Slide into the dots. We're ready to get things back going again. St. Louis wins the draw in the neutral zone. The Blues carry it along the wall. And that one's turned aside. And they'll cover it up, forcing a stoppage in play. Oh, and he takes possession of the puck from off the wing with the centers all locked up there off the draw. Great defensive effort with the stick. How did he stop that one? That's a great save, but the goaltender had to get out to the top of his crease, take away all the ice and make himself as big as possible. 
And he loses possession of the puck after trying to make one too many moves. Oh, I know what he was trying to do there, James. He thought he had it with that move, but he created some space for himself, but unfortunately loses the handle and it dies on his stick. Passes it over to Neighbors. And tries to make a diagonal pass to Blake. Reaches out and uses the stick. Down the right side and into the zone. Here's a chance in front! And he shuts down a great scoring chance there. And there's another stop! That's a fantastic sequence of saves there. James, he was so dialed in, he tracked it perfectly. Past the midway mark of the frame. It's all tied up. Play resumes here as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. Here's a shot. Oh, and he reaches out with the one save. Wow. Here's the puck. Minnesota's got a hold of the puck now. Strong defensive effort. Strong use of the body to force the puck loose. From the left side, it moves to the middle of the ice. Tried to get 2Q with it and loses possession. Hartman's known for his creativity and he tries one too many moves there and he loses the puck. The Koshin's lugging the puck. Takes the feed. From the right wing, he moves it to the middle. Cutting to the slot. And that goes off course off a body. Knocked off the puck there. Here's a shot. Great stop by Gustafson. Good hit on the play. Works it across to Erickson Eck. Picking up steam in the offensive zone. Love that hit. Moves it to Fulk. And he slides it quickly to Letty. The Blues have it behind the net. A chance in front. quiet shot, James. What that means is the goaltender can't see it. So he's listening for it, and it buzzes right by him because he cannot catch up to it, can't find it with his eyes, and can't find it with his body. St. Louis has gone in front by one here in the second. And as a coach, I know there's no question what I'd be saying. Continue to push, continue to oppress. Let's continue to attack and see if we can get one more. Gaudreau's won the draw inside the neutral zone. They'll go to work offensively here. And he gets a piece of that one and denies it. Bennington's been outstanding tonight, James. I mean, he's made the saves he's had to and really given his team an opportunity to win. You can't ask for more than that. Tenacious battle for the puck along the wall. Quick feed to Kapanen. With the stop. goings of this period. The Blues are hanging on to this one goal lead. They'd love to add another. Kairos won the draw. Takes the puck. Oh, the stop on the play. Gets all of it with the paddle. A timely save is everything to your team. And this goaltender, he bails his team out. Stop by the goaltender. He got a little piece of that one. The Blues have been the more active squad and they continue to lead late in the second period. Minnesota's won the draw. Oh, they didn't get all of it, but just enough to keep it out of the net. Oh, scores! It's in the back of the net, and it comes from an unlikely source because that's his first great playoff goal.
The Wild have been pushing and pushing, and they were finally rewarded with that goal. Yeah, and the end of the period, too. That's a critical time to score a goal. The opponent doesn't want to give up one. You gain one. You have momentum heading into the third. Sneaks away with the puck after he was tangled up on the draw. The Blues have it from their own end. Big stop by the goaltender right in front. Man, he was right on that puck. He knew exactly where it was. It was tight to the crease. He got out and challenged right away to make the save. Slides it to Neighbors. Here's a chance. There's the buzzer. Two periods down, one more to go. They always say three is the magic number. We've got period number three next. Drop the puck here in period number three. We are on the way here in the third, and this could come down to next goal wins. He grabs the puck here on the floor. St. Louis has possession of the Didn't mean to step on you like that, James, but look at that hit, and it just took me off guard. Minnesota's moving it into the offensive end. The Blues get a hold of the puck along the boards. Inside the offensive end, now down the left. Minnesota's in transition. Smart read by the defender to come up with it. St. Louis plays the puck along the boards. Minnesota's got it behind the net. Scooped up along the wall by Buchnevich. Great stop by Gustafson. Well, he makes an incredible save on a point blank shot here, James. I love the way he's aggressive, he's competitive, and he wins the battle. Big time stop with the glove. Campbell's on the poke kick, and it pays off. Great use of the body to knock him off the puck. And now it's grabbed by Buchnevich. Through the neutral zone, up along the wing. Quick shot, turns it away. Drills him. Too much congestion blocks the shot. Here he is for the slot. Scores! The go-ahead goal puts them in front. Well, and this has been trending to happen, James. They've been closing on the puck with deep sense and upward trajectory as his games progress and they find the back of the net. I hear coaches preaching all the time, take away the eyes of the goaltender. What does that mean? It means you get yourself in front of that net, whether it's a double stack, a double screen, whatever you can do so that the goaltender can't find the puck. And he couldn't as he drops to that butterfly. He tries to make himself as big as possible, but he can't catch up to the puck. Minnesota's come up with possession after that neutral zone draw. Quick pass to Rossi. And he had the answer on that one. And we'll get the whistle after the goaltender hangs on. Pyru's been feeling it, James. You know who else is feeling it? His teammates. They have been the beneficiaries of a great leader on the ice who's just been distributing the puck and generating a ton of offense. Rossi's won the draw here in the offensive zone. Hayes gains the line and into the offensive zone. And that's broken. Scores! Rips it off the pipe and into the net. Wow! He almost needed a double take there, James. When you hear that sound, sometimes you think it's out, but this one goes in. This is just a great goal, James, and just reiterates that in today's game, the hands are separate from the body. He's stumbling and still has his eyes on the puck, not in the greatest position, but manages to get a shot off that beats the tender. We haven't even hit the midway mark of the period. St. Louis seems to be looking for more after increasing their lead to two goals. Minnesota's won the draw in the neutral zone. Oh, smart heads up, Reed. Denies him, he got all of it. Battle along the wall. Picked up along the boards by Boldy. Through the middle of the ice, they enter the attacking zone. Well saved made by Bennington. Puck is frozen and we'll get a face off. Some last second communication with the D as centers get ready to drop the puck. The Blues come up with the defensive zone draw. Dropped him in the open ice. Moves into the slot. Let's go! Right on the doorstep. 
Look, no rebound there to be had. And they made no mistake about tucking that one home. They don't ask how it goes in, James, just if it goes in. But this is one of those goals that's all about the effort areas, the hard work, and the timing to get to the rebound first. The Blues continue to attack the net here in period number three, adding yet another goal to their score. Well, it's been all areas of the game that have really been terrific tonight, James. I've also enjoyed the communication that we're seeing on the ice, not just the body language, but also the vocalness. I mean, they're creating all over the ice, and it's been real fun to watch. Here's a chance. Huge stop by Bennington. You have to be quick in your crease if you want to be able to deny low zone shots. He does that perfectly as he's tight to the shooter right there. With the stop. Look at this attack here in the O zone. And that misses the net and will play on. And they skate it out of the danger zone. St. Louis on the attack. And now he moves it quickly to Fulton. Oh, he's got a piece of it to keep it out. Takes a shot. Takes the bank pass feed. Gaudreau's gonna play against the half wall. St. Louis with possession in their own zone. Takes the feed at center and moves forward. Directed over to Maroon. Johansson's got it along the wing. From the back of the cage with the puck. Oh, reactionary save! Puck is frozen and we get a stoppage in play. More than half the period has expired. The Blues have taken control of this one, now leading by three. St. Louis has the puck in their own end. Here's a short pass to Blay. And he takes the pass. Denies him! Gustafson's able to square up to the shooter right here, who's in a dangerous position in the slot area. What a great save, James. Can't connect good use of the body on that play. But Foley's best friend comes up big again as it goes off the outside of the frame. Minnesota's game has been pretty good tonight, James, in particular in the offensive zone where they're generating a ton of offensive opportunities. But they have to find a way to put it in the back of the net and not off the post, especially when you're trailing. The Wild have gained control of the puck along the wall. Grabbed along the boards by Spurgeon. Nice feed at center moves up ahead now. And will play on as that gets a piece of the glove. We can not lose. We got the type of fight we're going to to prove. The strike line got to move up the ice to a tight red line. To the east, the puck by the man. The Blues can simply take this on cruise control based on the lead that they now have here in the third. St. Louis wins the draw. The Blues will play it in their own end. Lewis gains a hold of the puck against the boards. Moves it quickly over to Hartman. And he slides it quickly to Bogosian. Biddington's got the puck and he's gonna hang on. Who had the edge? Carlin standing by with the answer. Thomas gets my vote tonight. He stayed with it and even though he hasn't been able to get any points, he continues to work hard, guys. Puck grab by Merrill. Wins the iron! Working hard, but nothing's been going right for them in this game. Another chance off the post, and this is deflating for an entire bench. We need something to get them going. The Wild have the puck against the boards. Pass across to Bogosian. Handles the puck at the point. Oh, a clutch save! Goaltender spent so much time doing tracking exercises, and it's utilized right here as he knows where this puck is coming from, and he makes the save. Great heads up play with the stick by Krug. Here we go. They've really ratcheted up the intensity here now in the end zone. They saw coming up here. They were pleasant moments ago. Yeah, they really were. And it's a tough spot for the goaltender. Everyone else can change, but he can't. He's got to outbattle his opponent now. St. Louis looks to break out of their own end. Here they come up along the wing. And a good use of the body to knock the puck loose. Across the line along the left wall. And there's the save. Biddington's got it. Now
I think there's a little strategy involved as he opts for the whistle. Well, yeah, I think he needs a rest, but it's also about game management. Listen, the only reason why they're winning this game is because he has been electric and dynamic between the pipes. Minnesota's gonna start with the puck inside the offensive zone. Scores! Over the rebound and tucks it in for the goal. James, these are the kind of pesky goals that create a ton of energy for your team. The rebound pops out after the shot. You have to have the hard stick be heavy on it, with it on the ice, battling to keep for it. He does it, and he buries it. Minnesota's clearly sending a message that they're not going to roll over in this one. The two-goal deficit, they have to have desperation and urgency. They'll need two players on the puck at all times. Retrieval to possess the puck is necessary. Moves it to Kapanen. Pace has that shot mentality. He's got two goals in the game. You know he's going to take it anytime he gets it. He's looking for the Hattie. Minnesota's got a hold of the puck. Boldy's picking up steam. Nearing the final 60 seconds of this one. Boldy recovers it up. We get a whistle to slow things down. A critical face-off looms here. And the extra attacker is on the ice, James. So much pressure on the center to win this draw. charming about the us against the world mentality, right? Oh yeah, the underdog. When you're going into someone else's barn, that's yeah. like a fire in the belly, isn't it? But as an athlete, you also have to know what makes you tick and how you can get yourself ready to put in your best performance as an individual and for the group. And I think that everyone bought in here. They got it done on the road. That's a huge marker. Hope everyone had as much fun as we did here tonight for all of us at EA Sports. I'm James Sabalski saying peace.